There is outrage in Oxford, fueled by new evidence in the Oxford school shooting. Over the weekend, the school board president added new fuel to the fire, issuing a statement saying parents of victims are trying to divide the community by taking events during the shooting out of context. The parents went public last week saying they watched school surveillance video showing an armed school security guard failing to protect students. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kirstner has been on this from the very beginning and joins us with these new developments. The new evidence comes out of this lawsuit here in Oakland County Circuit Court. The parents now want to sue the security guard. They say could have prevented one death, Justin Schilling. It's, um, it's a difficult to know that he could still be here if somebody did their job. The parents watched surveillance video in the prosecutor's office last week. They say it shows the armed security guard look at Tate Muir on the floor in the hallway bleeding. The guard thought it was all a drill and the blood was makeup. Buck Muir did not want to watch the video of his son who was killed and spoke out last week. It's sickening. Our community needs to stand up here. As the shooting is still going on, a school official told the guard it was not a drill. The guard then pulled her gun, went to a boy's bathroom, but took only one step in, did not clear it looking for the shooter. The security guard is a retired Oakland County deputy sheriff. Inside the bathroom were the alleged shooter, Ethan Crumbly, Justin Schilling, who was killed there, and Keegan Gregory, who was able to run out. His mother watched the video and her son. And you want to say that I didn't see what I see, it's insulting. Um, I watched the video. Facts are facts. Over the weekend, school board president Tom Donnelly wrote this email to the 1,700 families in Oxford High School saying in part, that's why isolating a single moment in a video out of context does a disservice to our staff members, students, and the entire community. We are confident the various investigations and cases will ultimately bring the complete set of facts to light. These attempts to sway public opinion with speculation before the investigations are complete are counterproductive and designed to divide us. However, we will not let that happen, nor will we allow these actions to distract us from our mission of promoting healing and providing a world-class education to our children. She points out the school board president told me in June he did not watch the video, and now he's criticizing the parents. Have you seen the video? No, I won't. I think this has outraged the community. I think more people than not have read that email and are beyond disgusted what he has said and i mean they victim shame all the time the attorney for the parents who got this new information responds today he's calling megan gregory and my clients liars and there's only one side line here and that's oxford community schools other parents have contacted seven action news and plan to be at the school board meeting tuesday night it's time for this community to come together and support these families. Um, they need the truth, we need the truth, and our children deserve the truth. School starts in Oxford on August the 25th. That's just two and a half weeks away. The judge will decide if the security guard can be sued here on Wednesday. In Pontiac, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News.